Hello and welcome to Electro Linux. Today we're going to show you a nifty little program called Booster which will save you a lot of time when installing a different Ubuntu based distribution like Mint, Ubuntu, Debian, Zorin, any Ubuntu based distribution because it's available through the software center you can use it to install and it basically creates a script. You can put the script on a USB pen it's only about what, what are we on? 9.6 kilobytes and all it does is create a, a generate a bash script run it through a terminal and then you know you can install packages you choose so say you want to install Chrome, Firefox Skype and you don't want to have to manually install them all, download the dev packages, add the PPAs if you've got the PPAs on your system it'll pull them in, add them all, then you, all your updates will happen as far as I know it installs the latest version because when I tried it on a laptop and installed GIMP it installed 2.8 because I have 2.8 installed on here so it does bring over your PPAs so let's begin so you need to first of all you need to install the dependencies so you need to do sudo apt-get install dash y open gdk dash 6 so you can, co you can go to this website which I'll post in the show notes and or just search for it on Google type in booster ubuntu and this will come up so you can oh, it's available in the software center so you can open the software center i already have it installed or you can just search for booster in the software center there's a nifty little video showing you how to do it as well so we'll run the program so we'll type in booster and you've got a list of pretty much every package in synaptic package manager so say you want to add skype you can search for skype and the Skype, you just add it, click on here, add it over and any programs that you use like VirtualBox you can add it over say you want to install Mumble to do your to do your chatting, you've got Mumble there say you want to install I don't know, TeamViewer search TeamViewer, there's TeamViewer 7 because I've installed that, see what I mean about the PPAs and then if you want to install GIMP and you don't want to keep adding the PPA to the latest version, it's there so then you can generate and export the clip, tell it where to save it to, so we we'll call this test save it in the home directory, so it's been generated you have to open a terminal and type sudo bash home and then it'll tell you where it is, this is basically the location of where you've just saved it after that you enter your password because you're doing it as sudo um, in that way you grant the script administrative rights so basically I have put it in my Dropbox or you can use Ubuntu one um, but you need to go into Nautilus or whichever file manager you use right click it, click properties permissions and allow the file to run as a program so say if I want to go onto my laptop and I open up Dropbox say I've got Dropbox in the script because I didn't want to install it as well. You can go to your Dropbox.com login or your Ubuntu one login or whichever or even a pen drive, just whack it on there. And then open up a terminal and type in sudo bash and then the script name, what you've created, and then wherever it's located, and then sh. Type in a password and you're good to go. So we can open up a terminal. So we'll type in terminal and we'll type in sudo bash and then just for ease of use I'll just put it into the drag it in, press enter put in your password and these are all the programs I've chosen this is generated with Booster, there's a person who's created it uh, so I've got Chrome, Mumble, VLC, Google Earth, Ubuntu Restricted Extras, VirtualBox and all the guest editions Audacity, Bleachbit, Boot Repair, Clementine, GIMP, Dropbox Chromium, FFmpeg, Flash Plugin, Kazam, Caden Live, Skype, Thunderbird, Transmission. This is going to save you a ton of time. All you have to do is press 1, press Enter, and it will find them all. Because I have every package on that list and all the latest versions, it's just going to check you've got it, check you've got it, and it's just going to install it like if you typed in sudo apt get install and then the package name, this is going to save you. And then you can store it on either you can store it on your backup drive, you can store it somewhere where you can get it onto a new computer, or if you say you want to try out Ubuntu 12.10, just put it in somewhere you can access it, USB drive, whichever means you want, 
it's only 9 kilobytes, 10 kilobytes, 12, whichever you want to make it. And then just run the script and it saves you a ton of time. And I've mentioned it on the um, Zoo Crew and I said I'd do a video and here's the video. Uh, any questions just leave a comment in the video below but you must install the dependencies to, for it to run which you do sudo app get install dash y open g d k dash 6 dash g r e dash app and then space aptitude and then once you give it permissions to run as, as a you know execute it will execute and as you can tell it's running checking I've got on all and probably just reinstalling all my applications so thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video